Welcome to the Ultra Bomb 22 Gaming Channel. I am the Ultra Bomb 22, and we are continuing our career mode with Portsmouth Football Club. We are moved into the month of December. We're about to go in there. Uh, just take a quick look back on November before we do. Uh, we just had the five, four games, was it? Just four games. It was a short month. We hence a short video. Uh, we had three league games and one uh, leasing.com game, including a 7 0 drubbing of Scunthorpe United, which was a bit harsh, but you know, eh, they're at home, don't care. Uh, coming up this month, we have four league games and at least in the com area semi final versus Carlisle United. Now, why it's called the area semi final, I'm not sure, seeing as we are playing Carlisle and they could not be further away from Portsmouth. I don't know what that's about, but anyway. Uh, the FA Cup second round game is also in this month where we take on Port Vale. Should surely beat them. It's a bit strange playing a club beneath us, given that we're so low down the divisions. But um, it will be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, we do have a new signing on as well, Thiago Amada. Very excited about that. Uh, he won't be here until January, obviously. He's 18, he's diminutive, he's a number 10. He actually wasn't that expensive. And from what I've heard and read, he is one of the best players that will grace the game. Potential wise, if you play him, he will play at this level, trust me. Um, I've had the number 10 spot rotated pretty much between um, Danny Vialva and Ben Close, and it has been a close call, but I have pretty much gone with Vialva because of his uh, balance. Your high balance means you're, it really improves your ball control. But with Almada coming in, his compatriot, uh, that will surely push him out onto one of the wings because Almada is apparently going to be magic. So look, we'll see how that goes. Number 10 spot is his by all accounts. I've also put in a minimum fee release clause for the guy. The, the agent kind of insisted on it. The highest that I could get it without absolutely splashing out on wages was 10 million. Will that cost us down the line? Possibly. But look, we'll see. Guys, as always, I've said, uh, if you have any questions, get them to me somehow. I've had one from ASP, another semi-professional, a fellow YouTuber, good guy, check out his stuff. Uh, he does a lot of Marvel stuff, if that's what you're into. He said, have you seen any of the career glitches people are talking about? No. I've seen the odd graphical glitch which comes with every FIFA, but they're fleeting, they're anecdotal, and they don't tend to repeat themselves at all. Um, but I haven't seen any of, I've heard terrible rumours about getting fired for doing contracts yourself, paying too much money. I've heard rumours about people, uh, the game being over because you've been fired too many times, three times in three years apparently, and you go back, straight back to the main menu and that's the end of that. I haven't seen any of that myself, but I will point out that I am only six months into a career uh, that I hope to go on for years and years and years. So... Uh, it hasn't happened yet, yet being the operative word there, but it may. So I hope, hope that answers your question, uh, ASP. So guys, uh, stay tuned for more action with Pompey. We're absolutely flying up the table, up at the top of the table. We're doing well. Uh, we're not really losing games unless they're against the likes of Newcastle plus the referee. Still not over that. Anyway. Onwards and upwards, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember guys, like, share and subscribe and any questions, get them into us here, the Ultra Bomb 22 Gaming Channel. have opened a rainy night here I'm Derek Ray joined in the commentary box by Lee Dixon an element of caution about this selection yeah 4-5-1 Derek the five players behind the lone striker will need to support him lots of very strong midfield offensively and also defensively the back four will be protected throughout the game Let's dissect the Portsmouth starting 11.
Look at those fucking stats. Jesus Christ. All of the ball, all of the shots. Well, most of the shots. Did we lose to relegation threatened? Crinton Stanley. Yeah, yeah, we did. Have you got time for a few questions? No. All right, go on, quick. Uh, win streak is over. What do you expect from the next matches? Wins. I'm proud of what we accomplished. Blech. That's fair. There is a lot to improve. Why would they take that negatively? Fuck off. Yeah. Just a couple of questions for you. Thank you. That's all the questions we have for you. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Lee Dixon. And there's nothing quite like the magic of a cup competition. Live action coming up for you. It's Portsmouth, and they take on Carlisle United. Well, thank you, Derek. Well, you look at the hosts being such big favourites in this game. Just wonder how their opponents approach the game. I think the key to this is keep it really tight in the first 20 minutes. Try and frustrate those home fans and then hopefully you can nick a goal here and there and take your opportunities an attack for a promise and a goal it is the opener in this game We'd like to ask you some questions about the match.
Thanks, that's all. The month of December continues. We're 11 days away from Christmas. Uh, we are top of the league by the continuous seven points as we were a few weeks ago. But we have a game in hand. So things are going our way. We are away to Accrington Stanley who are rooted in the bottom four. They're there in 21st place. Uh, Bolton somehow have meandered their way out of the bottom four, despite being absolutely mock. Doncaster AFC, AFC Wimbledon bottom. That is grim, considering it was between Portsmouth and Wimbledon as to who I would take up the divisions. So, uh, tough shit, I believe the phrase is. So I'm just going to take a look at what's going on. Do I want to manage in Chile? No. I mean, in real life, I'm an assistant manager. Um, I still wouldn't take a managerial job in Chile. Boring. West Ham are Accrington's sponsors. Christ. Anyway, uh, DeLuca, you are not... It. Harrison is scoring in every single game so you're in and Vilar going to be replaced by Harness who's doing quite well and it's good to see so we're going to try and get Armenian there Burgess you are shite with a ponytail so out you come and we will proceed See if it was like ten past eleven, I'd be like, "Oh, we'd fit in one more show." It's quarter to one. Nice keeper jersey, pajamas. Every fibre of my being wanted him to say Barbatov. All of them. All of them. We'll see how that translates into the match that lies ahead. It's a good cross. It's a wonderful. Oh, we've had to wait for this first goal. And to be honest with you. Just look at those fucking stats. Jesus Christ. Almighty. All of the ball, all of the shots. Well, most of the shots. Did we lose to relegation threatened? Eccrington Stanley? Yeah, yeah, we did. Have you got time for a few questions? No! Alright, go on. Quick. Uh, win streak is over. What do you expect from the next matches? Wins. I'm proud of what we accomplished. Blech.
That's fair. There is a lot to improve. Why would they take that negatively? Fuck off. Yeah. We are home to Ipswich. This now is a top versus second clash in League One. We are top by four. We do have a game in hand. But this is the proverbial six pointer, particularly when you see there that Freddie Sears is the top scorer in the league by six goals. Seven ahead of anything we have as centre midfielder. Sears playing wing slash striker. So let's see what we can do. Okay, welcome everyone. Thanks for coming. We're going to start with questions now. Will the boring centre-back generic number five play? How in the puppy? Classic formation and uh, really okay, capable. First half is up and running. Nolan. Sears. Trying the possession game unsuccessfully at the moment. It's Harrison. What? What? What the fuck? A oh, lad, free and a penalty. Come on. Performance from him. Time to check in with Alan. Here's the shot. That is a great win against our biggest rivals, number two in the table. The stats weren't great, but once you get three points against the team, that's just up your trough. Brilliant. We were four ahead, ahead of this game. It's no seven. So that went quite well. We've got some questions for you. Great. Bring them on. Why didn't we see more of oh, Jesus Christ. Competition is good. Middle of the road answer. Your goal. McCrory. Rory McCrory, he's bollocks anyway, but I'm not, I'm not going to say that. I say for a turn. What's that mean? What made the difference? Well, we were the better team. Thank you. Thank God. Bye, bitch. For our featured game today, 
Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Now you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. This is the away team lineup. What we've got here, Alan, is a side that don't concede many goals and perhaps they don't score enough. That's down to the overall philosophy of the coach. Yeah, they don't uh, commit too many men forward. They work incredibly hard, I know, on the training ground in the week. On so easy in possession, probing the pass. Just a couple of questions for you. Thank you. Well, most of the fans in attendance here have had to bring their umbrellas and wear their raincoats. It's a soggy day, but the wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You've played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back with the wing backs exposed like this in this formation. Well, most of the fans in attendance really here have had to bring their umbrellas and wear so their raincoats in the soggy day. Narrow midfield players supply the support for the two forwards up front. Thank you. Enjoy the game. That's our set for Portsmouth starting 11. And they kick off here. I'm 
passing base. Opportunity it is. And now he must score. The goals keep going in for them. I don't think they're going to throw this away now. Absolutely omnipotent. Good looking sequence. Will he find the net? And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Proceedings. They haven't been at the best. Time for just a few questions. Thanks so much for answering our questions.